Welcome back once again to the uh, Grand Garden Ballroom here at the MGM Grand Hotel as Larry Donald gets ready to step into the ring and is in there waiting now for the champion. that will be battling this afternoon for the title. And that, of course, is the WBC Intercontinental's America's Heavyweight title. And Jeremy Williams will be the man that will be defending the title. Uh, Larry Donald. Bob Spagnuolo is a guy who has had great expectations, lost out of the Olympic Games in 92 and certainly wants to make amends as a pro here, but he's come on rather very slowly, methodically, and now ready for maybe his splash in the, in the limelight today. Yeah, he hasn't had, he hasn't been in with as tough a competition as Jeremy Williams up to this point, but he's beaten a couple of undefeated fighters on his own, Will Hinton and, uh, and the very well thought of Dan Dan Kuda uh, from Romania, so you know, he, he's made his mark too, uh, I mean, they just rather and uh, putting him at risk every time. They've, they've built him up to this stage, and you know, they're certainly putting him at risk in this fight. Well, there's a look at Jeremy Williams as he just stares and stalks across the ring. Larry Donald is not playing the game. He's got his back turned to Williams. They're not going to play any of that uh, little showmanship here, or gamemanship, if you will, before this fight gets underway. Michael Buffer is our ring announcer, and he's ready for the introduction. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand Hotel, Casino, and Theme Park of Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Top Rank Incorporated presents 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Championship. When the bell rings, the man in charge, referee Richard Steele. Introducing first... Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks, weighing 227 pounds. This 1992 U.S. Olympian Hal has a professional record of 12-0 with 10 KOs from Cincinnati, Ohio. Introducing the challenger, Larry the Legend Dino. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the emerald green trunks with red and gold trim, weighing 210 pounds. From Long Beach, California, he brings an undefeated record of 15 and 0, 12 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Champion, Jeremy Williams. Well, the introductions have been made again by Michael Buffer, who's just moments away from taking a look at these two fighters. Let's match them up as far as the size, weight, and etc. You can see Donald six years older. He heights exactly the same. The weight a little heavier for Donald. And the reach advantage is exactly dead even at 76 each. The WBC rules that will govern this fight. Ten-point scoring system. No standing eight count. Three knockdown rule in effect. Cannot be saved by the bell. With exception of the last round, the referee's the only man that can stop it. There you see the three judges at the bottom that will score it. The supervisor, Dickie Cole, from the WBC, and Richard Steele, again the third man of the ring today for the WBC Continental America's heavyweight fight. You made mention at the top of the show, Bob Spagnola, the fact that uh, Jeremy Williams and Donald both have kind of relied on speed, and that'll be uh, actually uh, kind of the keynote to find out which one will be able to take advantage early here. Yeah, right off the bat, we're going to see which one of these guys is quicker and, and who reacts better to the other's speed. And I think that that could be a, a, the one of the few negatives that Jeremy Williams could face here in this fight, but it can be a huge one. Both fighters almost looking... Almost look as if they are on their jumping ropes as they are being held momentarily as this fight is also being televised by the ABC television network as well in the United States and out here worldwide by the Cedric Kushner Sports Network. Here we come and quickly they come right out at each other and again Williams wildly throwing punches. Donald throws him to the ropes and then goes after it. Donald doesn't want to rumble with Jeremy Williams at all. What he wants to do is get on that pistol, you know, get on that jab and, and work it. Jeremy's plans here, I believe their plan is to break, take that, break, try to take that jab away from Donald, and I feel like if they do, they'll render him defenseless. So let's see what happens here. Interesting little scenario on both of these fighters. Donald, who has really kind of come up through the ranks, really kind of called himself at one time the Cincinnati Lip. And, of course, that was due simply because he was such a great fan of Muhammad Ali. By the same token, of course, Jeremy Williams was brought up in the Mike Tyson type training, even to the point of training in the cap skills where Tyson was training. And uh, he kind of followed his more or less style, or at least wanted to be. So a little bit of the Ali shuffle, if you will, along with the Tyson Brute uh, working in the ring here this afternoon. Probably 
an apple and an orange when you look at the comparison, but nonetheless, the thought behind both of these fighters. Yeah, just right off here early in the fight, Jeremy's, you know, he's come out just a little bit overzealous. You know, he, he, he tried to end the fight early with one big punch, but at the same time, he's trying to let Larry Donald know what he's in for in this fight. To get out. Yeah, he right. threw himself off balance a little bit, trying to land the big left hook, but they're, they're both settling in. Uh, let's see what happens. Donald, he's needs to establish that jab. That's what he has to do. He's got to double it. He's got to triple it. That's the punch that's going to win this fight. It was almost like a couple of sprinters trying to get to the turn first to take that inside lane at that first 15, 20 seconds. Now they have settled down to what we expected here in round number one is both fighters trying to find the advantage. Jeremy's trying to, you know, roughhouse there, and once they get in the inside, he's still punching. He's still looking to make something happen on the inside here, which he knows that's to his benefit, because Larry Donald can't fight him on the inside. Donald wants to hold and get the referee to break him every time they get locked up in there. By the way, you're looking at a couple of fighters that have had great success in knockouts. Donald and his 12 wins have won 10 by knockout, but Jeremy Williams, 15 wins and 12 by knockout. Six in a row by Donald, five in a row by Williams, so they're able to end it at almost any time. But really, the, the one that's the puncher here is Jeremy Williams. Donald, the, the guys he stopped, he stopped him over a period of time through uh, accumulation of punches like he did uh, Dixon in his last win. Uh, to get out. out by the stats, four knockouts in the Break. first and the second round by Jeremy Williams. Uh, one knockout in the first and, only, and three more in the second by Donald. So the man that does get it cranked up earlier would be Williams again in the Emerald Green uh, trucks here tonight. See, Jeremy Williams is trying to attack the carry. He pulls out his own head and tries to loop the right hand over the top of it, the space that he's left open when they're in the inside in the exchange. And Donald has been getting his head underneath that, but he's got to watch that shot. Williams is looking to get out. The accomplished amateurs now coming into their professional career, both unbeaten and fighting on our heavyweight explosion from Las Vegas today. Well, we told you this was going to be a battle of wills as much as anything else, and you saw the battle of wits going on, both flashing quickly at the end of of uh, the rest period before they got started at the start of the first round and they settled more into what would he expect it kind of the ebb and flow of the first round of the fight and a good look at jeremy williams on the side and then a quick switch on the other side to larry donald donald of course coming into this fight with his 12 and 0 record 27 years of age six years older than that of jeremy williams took a while to turn pro yeah, they started right out here and jumped on each other, but really it was more of a, you know, a wrestling match. Than, there's that huge hook that Jeremy tried to hit him with. He got hit with a counter hook for his troubles. Well, you could almost play the, uh, what was the Keystone Cop theme behind that as they get off to a very quick start. Now they'll settle into action in round two. Sam Smith along with Bob Spagdell as we greet you back once again at the MGM Grand Hotel here in Las Vegas. The WBC Continental America's heavyweight title fight. Jeremy Williams on the ride in the Emerald Green defending his title against Larry Donald. Jeremy Williams is making his second title defense. Last one he knocked out Mark Wills in the ninth round up in Lewiston, Maine to defend his title for the first time. Look at the legs of Larry Donald. I'm telling you he's a little thin up through the, his upper torso. doesn't have big arms, but does he have a set of wheels on him, Sam? They're going to wheel him around here today as he's fainting. He's going to go, oh, and there's a big combination. He's got Jeremy Woods. He hit him with a clean right hand after a left jab. And then he followed it right in there with a couple of good combination punches. They took him all the way to the ropes, and Williams is now in the back pedal and trying to shake the cobwebs out. Big yes, upset in trouble. Right, let's go, let's go. Big upset brewing hey, 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 come on, you guys. A lot of people talk about have that, okay? Can Larry Connell get the job done? He's not a huge puncher for a heavyweight, but he's a pinpoint accurate guy. And that's what he did. He landed right, right, point right. right on the point of Jeremy Williams' chin, and his legs betrayed him. Well, Williams tried to talk a little trash on his way out and try to take it back here as far as the psychological advantage that is now turned towards Larry Donald. Come on, put it out It's now. even more Break. so important the fact that he hurt Jeremy here. If Jeremy stands on the outside and doesn't, isn't very aggressive in this fight, it's going to be a long afternoon for him. He can't stand on the outside and exchange jazz with Larry Donald in this fight. By the way, Williams won this title. It was a vacant WBC title in December of 93 with 12 rounds and one over Gary Wayne. That was up at Auburn Hills at the Palace in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Again, as I mentioned, made one title defense against Mark Wills, and now he may be in a pretty good fight in his second here with Larry Donald. Donald has served notice here that his quickness and his pinpoint punching are going to be very important in this fight 
try to take away the, the big power shots of Jeremy Williams. You see him still trying to load up that right hand again. He pinpointed it a moment ago. Might have fired a landing strip for it again here. And Williams, for the most part, may have kind of boxed himself back into contention after being in real trouble in this second round. is exciting here, Sam. This is what it's all about. You see two young kids like this, uh, really highly touted fighters, both of them not. Jeremy Williams tries to get his jab established, and Donald again asserts his. Don't push, okay? Letting him know, I'm the one. I'm the man with the jab. So Williams down doesn't look quite as aggressive as he did in the early part of round one, certainly, our beginning of the second round after Donald was able to clock him. Momentum slowly has changed a little bit. By the way, uh, you did get Williams that first round by the narrows to margins at 10-9. Now this round probably heading back the other way to Donald as we come to the end of the second round. Oh, certainly. Donald's in charge now. So two young heavyweights on their way up and battling here today on the heavyweight explosion. Good luck at Larry Donald as he and his folks go right to work quickly. Jenks Morton, by the way, kind of called in to kind of settle this uh, young amateur turn pro, settling down and work hard with him. And so far, he's done an excellent job as Daniel, you can see, looks very, very focused in what no, he wants to he, do. He really is. And, and here you see it, the jab first and then the right hand Boom. up on the forehead. The jab is what did it, and it, his legs betrayed him there. But you see in the corner how relaxed Larry Donald is. Here we've got a replay of the same thing. Same thing. Jab. A right hand up on the top of the forehead, and there go the legs of Jeremy Williams. You see how calm Larry Donald is. They said he was he was so nervous before at the weigh-in, he could hardly, you know, he's scared to death, this and that. Look at how calm they are in the corner right now, Sam. Well, you can see Williams is anxious to get out to start the third. Donald just a couple of seconds behind him off the stools. Both are up, bouncing around, and we're ready for the third round. Round three of a scheduled 12 round. This is for the WBC Continental America's heavyweight title. And Jeremy Williams on the left. A little shaken in round two by Donald. And he comes right at him here. Does Donald again in round three. Jab right there. You know, this distance where they're fighting, the distance between the two of them favors Larry Donald all day long. He can sit out there and it pot shot Jeremy Williams and win this fight right here and, you know, maybe get him off, get him hurt later in the fight. But right here, Jeremy can't match jabs with Larry Donald. That's the speed of Donald. He's taking control of this fight. Larry, and uh, Jeremy Williams, he's got to shorten that distance and fight on the inside. That's his spot. You know, you made mention that Jeremy Williams is going to lift on that speed. All of a sudden, he's got a guy that's quicker than he is on the other side. That's he right. lived on it fighting guys like Gary Lane and Mark Wills, tough guys that can take your head off if they hit you clean, but they couldn't hit Jeremy. He boxed them. But this fight, he's got a choice. Hey, that I'm an adaptable fighter. I can't. I just don't win fights on the inside. And here he's looking to but You know, he, Donald's getting under all those heavy punches. He literally pushes Williams away to get back out into what he wants to do, and that's a more of the boxing match. A looping left hand to the body that time of Williams. And that hurt. Richard Steele now by having to come a little bit more active in this fight now. The third man in the ring trying to keep these heavyweights apart and let them get some punches in. A disappointed Larry Donald expected to walk into Barcelona for a gold medal. He was defeated by a man that he had thought he had uh, already won one and could do it again. But the uh, Cuban uh, heavyweight knocked him down and quite obviously knocked him out of the uh, chance to win the gold medal. Faldo uh, from Cuba was a tremendous amateur and, and a hard guy to beat. Donald had beat him in the world championships in the confines of the United States, but he, he was easily outpointed by him in the Olympics. But that's all behind us at this point in time. And this right here, this range that they're fighting at, very much favors Larry Donald in this fight. See Williams. By the way, Williams was talking a little trash in the second round just before he got into trouble. Donald started doing a little talking of his own here at the start of the third round. As he tries to muscle Williams into the corner. You see under a minute to go in round three. Couldn't get anybody to really predict this one being on a specific time, either to end in the fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth. Everybody kind of has the feeling it could very easily go the entire 12. Well, it could, and especially if, if it favors Larry Donald. I think if there was going to be a knockout early in this fight, it would have been by Jeremy Williams, but uh, Donald's already proved me wrong there because uh, he's, done, he's been the only guy to hurt his opponent thus far in the fight. 
Jeremy Williams, probably a little bit more of his support coming from nearby Long Beach, California, nearer obviously than Cincinnati, Ohio. And Williams is doing a good job of continuing to fight even when Donald's holding him with one hand. That's what he's got to do. He's got to fight on the inside. He can't sit out here and box, but when he does get in, he's got to get do his damage. Jeremy Williams trained by his father, Charles Williams. He'll be greeting him in the corner as they get ready for a one-minute rest period after the end of the third round. Oh, oh, oh. Richard Steele quickly gets in between them, and both fighters had a couple of last verbal shots before they headed for their corners. So this one is starting to really start to get a little steamy now. Williams coming back, doing a good job after getting in trouble, and you can take a look at him rolling here. Now, the bell has already sounded at this stage. They were already fighting, and watch Richard Steele. He's saying, fellas, I'm going to be in control of this thing. When the bell sounds, it's over. <laughs> I don't know about bringing them together at that point. Looked like they were going to do some more damage. Almost uh, looked like they might have had to have some plexiglass in there to keep the hockey pucks from flying around. Yes, but Jer Jeremy Williams would like this to evolve into a brawl here. Look at that right when you get ready to throw it. Put it in your chest. Jeremy Williams working Put it in his chest when you go throw it. He's up off that stool, but so is Donald. They're rare to go in the fourth round. Well, this fight is now taken on a due dimension as both fighters are up quickly off their stools to open the bell to start the fourth round. The champion of the Emerald Green, Jeremy Williams, stung in the second round, came on fought well in the third, and Donald now tries to regain control if he can. Yeah, Donald's got to—he's got to work that piston, you know. He, he's got to work that jab. He's been very economical with it. He's scored with it very well on uh, on Jeremy Williams. Oh, and he just hurt Williams with another right hand. And Williams is holding on, trying to gain his composure again. Williams, you can see lunging, and Williams doing the very wise thing as he clenches on his way in. Well, that right hand is found a target. Now Donald gets a little bit uh, over or ambitious again. Speed is, power. Speed is power. Speed is power. And the fact that he's had the quickness to reach Jeremy Williams right on the point of the chin, it's, 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 it's the fact that he's the one that's been hurting the other fighter in this fight. As Williams again tries to pull his head out and hit him with that looping right hand over the top. But I believe Donald is, uh, is hip to that, as they say, Sam. You know, the one thing Donald is able to do, and you alluded to it a little bit earlier in the fight, Anytime that Williams starts to load up the right hand, it's a little bit more of a looping right hand, and Donald just walks right around and catches it on the shoulder, is able to throw punches inside. And he's done well on the first four rounds on doing that. You can see the very great concentration of the eyes of Larry Donald. He is really, really focused in this fight this afternoon. Another good left hook of the body by Williams. He's landed two good, clean shots to the body, but these guys are in tremendous condition here today. You can be sure with Jenks Morton in one corner and Charles Williams in the other that uh, nobody's worried about running out of gas in this fight. Larry Donald comes into this fight after a February fight over in Atlantic City when he knocked out uh, Mike Dixon. The referee actually stopped it at the end of the sixth round. They were pleading for it to be stopped earlier at ringside, but they finally did in the sixth. That looked very good in doing so against a man that at one time was also given a chance of winning a world heavyweight title. Mike Dixon. Yeah, people look at it, you know, a matchup like this and they think Williams is the crusher. You know, he's the one that showed the power and not only even when he's got guys out of there, it's been with the accumulation of punches and, you know, better conditioning. But uh, it, it just, you know, styles make fights and, and these guys, they're both boxer punchers. One of them is going to get established. There's another really nice left hook right across the front of the abdomen by Jeremy Williams. That's been his best punch. Uh, best punch that he landed consistently in the fight. You know, Bob, the fact that the Williams came in at 210 and Donald came in at 227 at 17 pounds of kind of leaning on each other also gives Donald even more, a little more advantage when they get inside like that as well. Uh, and I, I don't know who did the cut tail of the tape here, Sam, but they said that they were both 6'3", and that's not even close. So Larry Donald's the bigger fighter. And there, Williams hurt him with a hook. Well, they'll finish out another exciting round, and that's the end of round four. Paid some good money to come into the MGM Grand this afternoon, and they are getting their money's worth in this one fight alone. These two guys have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe through four rounds, and you could almost see on every punch, I got you, now you hit me. And so it's coming back and forth, and this is turning into a whale of a fight, just as you forecast, Bob Spagnuolo. Well, it's, I mean, Larry Donald won every minute of that round up until the last. He had Jeremy hurt. 
Okay, about one. Okay. Here they're tied up with each other, but here at the very end of the round. And that was after the punch had been landed. That, and again, at the end of the round, you can see they're still jawing at each other. So the word of war, uh, the war of words, excuse me, has also continued right along with the punches they've thrown. And four rounds, we've really settled nothing so far in this title fight. Both fighters off their stool, bobbing and ready to get into action as we answer the bell in the fifth round. Kind of brawl a little bit now, and a warning from Richard Steele and a hold by Jason Williams. Yeah, Jeremy, he, he wants to be, he wants to get into this and make this a war in the trenches. That's, he wants to exchange punches with Larry Donald here. He, he really feels like he, he's got the you know better ratio of chin to power than Larry Donald. The, both fighters have hurt each other. Both fighters hurt each other in the last round. I gave a round to uh, Donald just based on the first two minutes and 30 seconds of it, but, uh, but Jeremy Williams landed the significant punch at the end of the round. Flipping jab by Donald now, just Williams able to kind of stay out of harm's way for the moment. The fighters trying to quieten down here in the fifth round. You know, it's just the lull before the storm you have before these two fighters get it toe-to-toe -to -toe again. But Donald, is, he's gotten a little economical with his jab. He needs to just let that out there. I think he's worried about getting the right-hand counter from Jeremy Williams, but he can't just look for one, one punch. Come on, get him Richard Steele was a little bit hesitant at stepping in. Williams was outside the ropes. And he ducked back in quickly and that was working pretty good. And Donald's out there like he's the crusher. Just walking straight to Jeremy Williams with reckless abandon. Williams again with 12 knockouts in his 15 wins as a pro. By the way, at 168 uh, wins by Williams as an amateur, he had 95 knockouts. So truly a big puncher and Donald blocks him again. This boxing on the outside here is where Larry Donald wants to be. This is this is his house. On, this is his, his, his place of business right here. Right, and in here is where Jeremy Williams, and he works two good hooks to the body inside position as Donald's looking to hold. You see Donald coming back right. with that lunging attack that has caught Williams off guard a couple of times already today. This fight's living up to expectations. You know, both guys are getting their shots in. Both guys are doing some things they want to do. But, uh, right now, I, I think the fight flavor, even though know, I've got it even on my card, I think Larry Donald's in a little bit better shape right now than Jeremy Williams. I definitely has got control. There's no doubt about that. Williams, a little bit in control. First round, maybe. Then got himself into trouble. Almost knocked out. Knocked down, excuse me, in the second round. They knocked well in the third. Back the way with Donald. Now here they are in the fifth, and they about to even fifth round again. Break, break! Both fighters kind of listening with rabbit ears to the corner to see if they can give them any encouragement inside the round. You know there'll be a lot given at the end of round five in the corner. A lot of pain by both. So the crowd. Once again, who got very pumped up into the fight in the fourth round. And again, that was about the only round that has ended with the bell. You may recall the last two had to be separated by Richard Steele and a battle of words by both. Good look at Larry Donald. Again, at 55 and 6 as an amateur, actually won a couple of the Olympic festivals in 89 and 90. It was really one of the guys they really thought was going to get the gold. Did not in the Olympic Games. Got to question him a bit. Did not turn pro until January of 93 after losing a chance to win the goal at the Barcelona Olympic Games in 92. And now as uh, Sugar Ray Leonard looks on still as he was introduced before this crowd, a very, very popular former champion here in Las Vegas. And here we see early in that round, Donald lands a straight right hand, sends Jeremy Williams back to the ropes. So we welcome you back here to the MGM Grand and get ready for the sixth. Sam Smith, Bob Spagnola, heavyweight explosion. And the bombs have just started to be ignited, it appears. The champion Jeremy Williams defending his WBC Continental America's title. The title that he won back in December of 93 with a 12 round decision over Garen Lane and defended one time before, before this title defense against Larry Donald today. They want Jeremy Williams to step. Good combination landed by Donald there. 
They want Jeremy to cut Williams off to step to his right. And it seems like Donald's able to do that quite a bit, uh, Bob. And the fact that he puts combinations together, he gets, as we say, a little bit punches and bunches there against Williams. Yeah, he, he pulls the trigger with nice, quick, straight punches. Uh, you know, they don't, they're not big like that huge sweeping hook that Jeremy Williams has, has knocked out so many heavyweights with. But uh, they're short and they're right to the point, and, uh, and he's got Jeremy backing up. Donald was actually saying to Jeremy Williams, come on, let's go. And Williams not responding this time, so the battle of the words, at least, has become one-sided by Larry Donald doing the, the talking in the ring right now. One of us, Jeremy, said some interesting things prior to the fight, talking about this guy's had three different nicknames in a three-year pro career. I mean, why does he get it? make up his mind about what he wants? But he's made up his mind that he wants to win this fight, that's for sure. And, and uh, you know, the, the quickness and speed, uh, uh, you know, of, of Larry Donald right here has given Jeremy some trouble. Williams again, a little bit of puffiness under his left eye. They'll have to watch closely in his corner. Donald looks like he's virtually unscathed across the way. This is where Donald wants to be, though. This outside, Jeremy, he, he's not going to win this fight here. This isn't his his offense. This isn't his place of business. He, he has beaten good fighters from the outside, and he's a very adaptable fighter and a very good fighter, but he can't beat this guy from the outside. He's got to get him in there. He's got to get get in his office. He's got to go back to the, you know, the, the Tyson-style uh, uh, offense of just, you know, going straight to a guy and uh, taking away that jab and, and being the boss out there. Donald got that left hand down, well below his waist now, trying to up jab, and there he does it quickly again. And he's quick, he's quick as a whip for a big man, and uh, even though he's in a terrible defensive position right there, he's getting the job done, and that's just natural athleticism. Good jab landed by Jeremy Williams there, one of his best jabs of the fight. And probably just as quickly and as lightning fast as Donald was throwing a moment ago. Both fighters, again, relying on their quickness in their early fights, but now matching that quickness against each other. Closing seconds of the sixth round. The close of the flurry are with a whimper here. The end of six, halfway through this title fight. Fighters go their respective ways as Larry Donald takes a seat out of Cincinnati, Ohio, 27 years of age. Six years the senior of his champion opponent across the way, Jeremy Williams. Come on, do just like I got you. That's all I'm going to do. Go to his right hand, you see? How many we back? Huh? How many we do two rounds back? Okay. Now that's serious. The seventh round coming up, right? Yeah. Okay, but it ain't a question of a round right now. Then if you go to your right and throw left hook. Mm -hmm. See, just slip it, make him throw at you mm -hmm. with the jab, because he can't hurt you with the jab if you're on the right side, you understand? Yeah. 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 Go to your right, Jeremy, throw a left hook. Okay. Throw a left hook, high left hook. Keep the hit left. Just watch the guy, because he's a tall guy, son. <laughs> so both fighters getting ready to answer the bell. Seconds will be ordered out any moment. There it is. And good look at Jeremy Williams. He really wants to defend this title badly today. But Larry Donald's pretty much taking control here in the mid-rounds. This is round number seven of a scheduled 12-round title fight, and Jeremy Williams, who knew he was in for a fight this afternoon with Larry Donalds, now certainly knows that Larry did come to steal his title. Now he's got an uphill battle. As again, Larry Donald, for the most part on your card, uh, Bob, has pretty much taken control, particularly the last three rounds. Yeah, I mean, after after Jeremy Williams got back in after being hurt in the second round and won, I think, two rounds in a row, Donald Come on, turned it back get around here. Yeah, and the difference is, this is where there's Jeremy there's Williams wants to fight this fight on the inside. It might not be pretty, but he can be very effective in there. Whereas this distance on the outside is where Donald wants to fight the fight. And, uh, you know, a lot more of the fights being fought at the outside than on the inside. Both of these fighters stayed very active in 1993. As a matter of fact, Larry Donald fought 11 times in 1993. For Jeremy Williams, he had nine fights in 1993. So they didn't lack for activity, that's for sure. And right off the bat, they've gotten off the quick starts here in 94. Now, this is an excellent matchup here. Jeremy's looking to counter that jab of uh, Larry Donald's with a good right hand. Uh, and Donald, I think, is a little hesitant to use the jab, but he's very effective when he does use it. But right here, nobody's doing anything. Bob Spagnola working with us, the manager of world champion Orlando Canizales. Heavyweights fighting that often, Bob. Uh, 
Uh, what is it? Heavyweights, uh, lighter weights. Uh, how many how many times a year can you basically fight and still keep yourself in you know in reasonably good shape and uh, be able to take the pound? A lot of it depends on you know what kind of fight you're in. These guys have been uh, you know heavy on the winning end. It's not like they've been beaten in the midst of any of those fights or even taking a lot of punishment. It's been pretty much all their own way. But you see here, Jeremy. I mean, I don't know what he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying to to make Donald come to him and, and try to counter him from that. But he's the one doing the boxing, and uh, I don't know how he can win like this. He, he's a good boxer himself, but the other guy has got the height and reach on him, and uh, it would seem to me that the outside would be the place for Donald. Excellent venue for boxing here at the MGM Grand. The fact that they do right have four giant screens in each corner of the ballroom, which gives the fans who have paid their money an opportunity in between rounds to watch the same replays you do on our television coverage here on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network. So a nice venue here at the MGM Grand. Just uh, wanting to become one of the players among many here in Las Vegas for the boxing dollar. Donald, let's go with a good combination. Break, he gets break, it with a break. solid left hook to the body by Jeremy Williams for his problem, but he's talking to him. It may be good that uh, Richard Steele was himself a contender in the light heavyweight division, able to be able to step inside of the lightweights to push the guys away, but he's done a good job here this afternoon. Break. I wouldn't want to step in there in between these two. Not the way they fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. And they close out another spirited round the seventh. May not have been as good as that fourth one. That was a dandy. Come on, but they end the get seventh out. round. Watch your head. Watch your head. So the two fighters again continue to jaw at each other. More so from the standpoint of uh, Donald. Now he is that a confidence coming out or is that a little uh, uh, fear coming out from him? Uh, he's doing a lot more of the talking than is Jeremy Williams right now. I think that's just part of his uh, his regular ammo. Jeremy's not really a, a talker once he gets in the ring. He does a lot of it's you know does he makes his point known prior to the fights, but he's not a he's not a guy that uses a lot of that. But uh, you know the thing about Donald is I mean I I had him in control of this fight, but he, he's letting it slip away a little bit. He's just not doing anything. He's not doing enough. He's not throwing enough. Punches. I mean, in the last round, up to that point, it seems like when Williams makes him fight, he will. But that round, neither one of them did much of anything. Jenks Morton again working with him inside the ropes. You see that good attention by Donald across the way. Jeremy Williams, his father, just outside the ropes off of his left side, and he's got the encouragement. And there he comes, bobbing, heading for the eighth round. This is the eighth round of our scheduled 12 round title fight here at the MGM Grand. Oh, big combination. Double jab by Donald and a right hand behind it. And he's got Williams in trouble. He's trying to fight out of it in the corner, but Donald knows he's in control. Here he comes. Go hold him, go hold him. Well, he is lightning on, fast when he throws that combination. He's there on the When he pulls the trigger, he's right there with it. I, I can't see why he's so. Uh, and he doesn't need to get in there and extreme come on, come on, work it, yeah. I just keep him out on the end and stuff and take my time. If he went, he'd go. But I, I don't I don't think Larry Donald needs you're to holding, exchange you're holding, come on. with Jeremy Williams because Jeremy throws everything right protect down yourself, there short and perfect. You know, Jeremy Williams, since come he on, got that get last out. combination, come on, come on, watch how he's trying to smother everything. The minute he sees Donald ready to react, he just kind of jumps in on it. He just kind of shuts off that, uh, that long reach. And it appears Donald has, despite the fact they both have 76. Donald really looks like Punch the man with a better reach. Yeah, like and he's a, got him measured better right now. I'm not sure who did the tail of the tape. Step back, I, I think it was uh, those tape measures didn't add up. <laughs> break, break, break. So again, another big punch here. Combination by Donald. Now we see Jeremy Williams, you know, more down in the peekaboo offense, defense, Come on, no, defense Colin, you know, that uh, Kevin Rooney right, had worked back, with him on, you know, two back, hands underneath the chin and uh, and a lot of head movement rather than uh, the, the orthodox boxing stance, which now he's into a little bit. But he was hurt there early in the right, round, and uh, I don't know if he's fully recovered up to this point, Sam. You can see there's not a great deal of discussion on the condition of these two athletes as they have come in very well prepared on, work, for this break, afternoon's battle. And in the eighth round, you can see Williams still very much on his toes. Right now, he goes down. That's a slip. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, knockdown. Uh, he go. tried to load up with the big right hand. Oh, and there's a nice left hook to the body Perfect off break. the, seven, off seven. the uh, break, which Williams has landed that throughout this fight. Donald again trying to stop his play. Williams turned with a pretty good Perfect counter right there. hand. May break. have been seven, 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 seven. Richard Steele's warning him. Come on, break. Commands not working for these two guys again now here in the eighth. Richard having to 
showed himself a little bit more. Williams being very careful to stay out of harm's way from Donald here in the closing seconds of this eighth round. That's for sure. Come on, can't blame him for that. He was what? hurt early in the round, and he needed to just get through this one and live to fight another day. Oh, and there's that left hook, but absolutely no reaction from Donald at all, and that was a crushing hook landed to the body by Jeremy Williams. Well, we'll see when one of those does hurt you, you kind of cut your eyes one way or the other up. Kind of indicating that, oh boy, that hurt, but uh, Donald didn't make any reaction whatsoever. No, which was only a, a credit to the condition that Jank Morton got him in. Well, around that Larry Donald again, just as he did back in the second round, had Williams visibly in some trouble. Williams was able to close the distance yeah, and won. keep Donald from punching from the outside. By the count on the inside, but again, big trouble dished out by this man, Larry Donald. How does Williams turn it around? What does he try to do to get himself back and take the momentum away here from Donald now? He's just got to he's got to impose his will on Larry Donald. He's got to throw out that last round uh, and, and, you know, take control. Here it is. It's a double jab once, twice, and the big right hand. Neither jab landed, but the right hand came through clear and smooth, and, and that was the punch that won him the round. Come on. And Donald quickly tried to get in on top of him, and you saw the savvy that time of Jerome Williams just, just kind of covering him up. Oh, excuse me, Jeremy Williams, as he covers him up at the end of the eighth round. And Donald is anxious to go. Ninth round finds the challenger, Larry right, Donald, right, coming out right. early, and Jeremy Williams meets him at center ring here to start the night. And Williams clearly may be a little bit down on the cards unofficially, and he may be having an uphill battle to defend his title right now. And Donald knows that. Come on, work it Now, Donald's in charge of the fight right now, but uh, if Jeremy Williams has got a puncher's chance, certainly in this fight, and even if he got Donald in trouble and turned the fight around, he could even win on points. He's not so far behind that he can't win this fight on points. Trying with that right. left lunge and then trying to set up something with the right hand, but has not been able to do so. Punching it out, punching it out. Like that left jab is there, Bob, but that's about it in Williams right now. Yeah, but I mean, Donald's doing even less there. He just tries a straight right hand to start the round off, but uh, uh, the most amazing thing to me in this fight has been the effect of the punches that Larry Donald has landed on Jeremy, as opposed to the... The, the fact that Jeremy hasn't had any effect, uh, well, I, he did hurt him there with a with a hook there, I think, in uh, in about the fourth round or so. But generally, he hasn't been able to uh, to hurt Don Donald like I thought he would if he hit him with clean shots coming into this fight. You know, we talked about Williams winning his championship in the 12-round decision over Garen Lane. He's also had some pretty good wins along the way and a very rapid climb to the top with 15-0. Frankie Swindell defeated him in 10 rounds. Also knocked out Mark Young in one of our earlier heavyweight explosions. Actually a tough fighter out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And Darnell Nicholson Punching knocked him out in two rounds. And that in itself was a pretty good win for Jeremy Williams. Oh, yeah, uh, Nicholson was the Olympic teammate of Donald. And uh, there's some nice work on the inside by Williams. Uh, Doing right. a good job in this right. round. Uh, Donald's you know, being very economical. But no, Williams has, has been very well handled. And they put him in. They, they put him in real fights. And, uh, and he's been up to the path up till now. But uh, he's in a little bit of trouble in this fight. Well, he may kind of change his opinion. He said his toughest fight up to this point was an eighth round win over Marion Wilson. Coming in March of last year, Williams was knocked down and actually sustained a pretty good cut before that fight was finally going the distance. And it was the winner by Williams, but he may change his mind. This truly is the toughest he's had to go through, I'm sure. Yeah, and Marion Wilson out of Baltimore area is a very tough, hard-headed fighter. He did he had, uh, Jeremy down. A lot of people were questioning Williams' chin, but uh, you know, he got off the canvas and won that fight impressive. Come on, come on, guys. Great. Step back. Williams has not been able to do too much at all and kind of regain the momentum of this fight once again. Come on, work it, work it, don't hold Neither it. man's been real successful right, in this up. round. It's, uh, I think both guys taking a rest. Well, as the closing seconds of the ninth round, we still have three rounds to go. This title fight from Las Vegas. Oh, oh. Good look at the crowd here in Las Vegas. It's they have settled in to watch the heavyweight explosion here tonight on the Santa Cruz Sports Network. 
Sam Smith along with Bob Spagnola. We're delighted that you could join us here. Last round, pretty much kind of an even uh, draw round there, Bob. Either one of the fighters you pointed out ever maybe able to get much of an advantage. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I actually was leaning towards Williams in the round until uh, the Donald finished strongly, but it really was anybody's round to lose because neither guy did much. Donald is ahead on the card as you take a look at Jeremy trying to get his breath there and trying to get himself ready. Let's take a look at some of the action in the past round. There they missed, but Donald landed a hook on the as Williams broke up. But this is it, Sam. This is the championship rounds. 10, 11, and 12 in this fight. And it's going to mark the, the winner of this fight is going to win a couple of these last few rounds and, uh, you know, really establish right. themselves as, as, as a premier heavyweight, uh, you know, coming up out of the class of 1992, the amateur class. This is the 10th round unofficially on our unofficial card. Donald up by three points as we go to the 10th round. 88, 85 on a... Kind of a nip and tuck type fight early on. But Donald has taken pretty much control. When he got officially five out of the last six rounds. See one of those going even. That being the last round. Oh, great! Stop it! Stop it! Charles Williams is telling. Uh, to get out of there! Uh, you know, you got to go back. forward, Break. son. You got to you got to press him. And Donald's uh, happy to stand on the outside here and uh, and pick his shots, even though he's being. Very, very economical with his punches, Larry Donald. As he's fainting from the waist up, he's doing everything real nice, but he's not pulling the trigger much. You see, Larry Donald is kind of walking through what turned out to be a pretty good looking punch by Williams, and he came back with a combination answering. Another combination by the Jack Williams on the left arm turn. Turn Jeremy Williams in. There comes Donald again, stalking the elusive target of Jeremy Williams. Williams, the champion. Going into this fight with 12 of his 15 wins by a knockout, Jerry Ben Williams. Hard to get out of there. Like to have back, what is back, called a little semblance of the power of Tyson and the position of Holyfield and the combination of Lewis. Right now, Larry Donald has taken most of that away from him today. Yeah, well, he really has. Right, like, Donald's back, a big, you know, he's a big heavy. Like I said, I don't know who said that these guys are the same size because they're not hardly the same size. And, and it looks like Jeremy Williams in backing up here. He's got to back up because he was hurt with a punch earlier there, and he's got to rest a little bit, let his legs, uh, you know, he's shaking his arms like he knows he's got to, he's got to get some, uh, some gusto back inside those punches. But uh, he's giving away a run, and he can't afford to give away here. And Donald looks good in this play. The expression on Larry Donald's face is pretty much saved the same. A very concerned look in those eyes as he stares into the eyes of his opponent. Focusing, picking targets, and for the most part, landing where he wants to. Williams now back in his horse, trying to get away from it. Come on, fight to get out, break somebody. It's not only, you know, the, the hand speed of Larry Donald that's helped him in his fight, but the defensive speed, the reaction speed that's enabled him to get out of the, the way of those counter shots of, uh, of Jeremy Williams. Break, somebody, somebody. Builds himself as the legend after being earlier called the Cincinnati Lip. Ali, to get out of to get out. Muhammad Ali motif that he tried to accomplish as an early uh, pro. Now he goes right, right. after Williams again. Back. And a good combination landed by Good strong finish by Larry Donald here. And, uh, you know, really letting Jeremy Williams know, hey, listen, I ain't going anywhere here in this fight, son. How about you? Right, right, right. They finished 10 rounds. Jeremy Williams going one way and a rather confident Larry Donald coming back the other way, setting in the red corner across from us. And you can almost see just a faint little confident smile. Not that he's arrogantly doing that, but he knows that he's got this fight where he wants it and doing what he, for the most part, wants to do. And Jenks Morton has to be uh, happy with it as well. Other side, you can see Jeremy Williams kind of looking across the ring at his opponent. See if they're doing anything different than they've been doing earlier. There we see Donald having a strong start to the round, and really he, he hurt Jeremy Williams in that exchange, and, and Jeremy was backing up the rest of the round trying to recover from that shot. And the quickness of Donald. Now look how quick he gets in on top of him with that left jab. It was a jab, a yep. jab that did the damage there, but hey, these are heavyweights. They got six minutes to fight if it goes the full distance as we head for the 11th round here. 
11 rounds for a title fight. The WBC Continental America's title on the line. On the right is the champion, Williams. Larry Donald is coming here fighting like anything but the challenger. He fights like he wants to be the champ. Right! And may well be before this night is all over. Donald's in an excellent position here because this is what he wants. To do. Well, you, you heard him with the right Come hand. On, there. Get out of Bounced it right off, but there's good work on the inside by Jeremy Williams. Don't, 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 don't ever question the heart of Jeremy Williams. As I'm telling you something, even uh, in the face of adversity, he's showing a lot in this fight. Both guys are, and the loser of this fight is by no means finished. It's, it's uh, like we alluded to early in the broadcast, you know, to put to you. When was the last time you saw two up and coming prospects like this with, with these guys' amateur credentials getting together at this stage of their career? Neither one of these fighters is going to be finished after this fight. You know, by the same token, Bob, looking on the other side of the coin, the winner here, the best is, uh, of course, 13th ranked by Jeremy Williams outside the top 10. has got to vault him into the top 10. This is a huge fight today. Oh, sure. There's no doubt about it. But what I was trying to say is the loser, he's not going to be, yeah. he's not going to be out of the top 20, or he shouldn't be. Because, uh, you know, they've established themselves as, uh, you know, both of them as belonging where they are, which is, uh, you know, they're, they're the young lions of tomorrow in the heavyweight division. And particularly when you take a look at the spirited fight that they put on here today in Las Vegas. You see that quick closing by Larry Donald again. He really can close the gap with those quick, straight punches. There's another right hand. He backs Williams to the ropes. Misses with a combination. Leans on him, then tries to get out for some punching ring. Just a little over halfway through the 11th round. Williams definitely trying to stay away from Donald now. Oh, Larry Donald really put an exclamation point onto this performance as James Morton in his corner waving him in. But he's not the kind of fighter that's just going to, you know, throw caution to the winds. It's he should step over with the right hand, but still, he's winning this fight, and he knows it, and he, he can't really lose it at this stage unless he gets knocked out. So he doesn't want to get a little overzealous here and, and change this thing around. Now, that's the thing with James calling him in, with Williams running for him. All he's got to do is just stay aggressive in the center of the ring, and the, the judge is going to knock him as he goes after him in the corner. Williams retaliated with an overhand right hand, but he got caught with three before he could throw that one. No, and there's no doubt in the scoring of this fight right now. The only way Jeremy can win this fight is by a knockout, and, and the way he's boxing right now, I don't think that he stands a real good chance of doing that. Well, we've already seen him throw some pretty good Sunday punches that Donald has been able to weather through and not have any ill effects. As you hear the clappers in the background to indicate that we're nearing the end of round 11, we'll go for the final three and the determination of the title here this afternoon. Larry Donald wanted to stay and have a little conversation again with Jeremy Williams. Art if nothing else, just to kind of catch his eye and saying, okay, big fella, you've thrown me everything you've got. Well, you're uh, I'm down to that floor. In this final round. Bring him down to me. Now you see him hit him down. He's got a little bit of a smile on him. Not that he's any worse shape than he was the last round. But again, you still see that very concerned look. I would call it more of a focused look on the other face there of Larry Donald. Can't do that. This really knows what he wants to do. And James Morton, you know, is not going to let him get unfocused at this stage of the game. Okay, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Jab, right hand by Larry Donald. To go three minutes. You can fight the hardest thing in the Then the difference in this fight. I'll tell you something. You want to see somebody that's earned their money. Look at Richard Steele. He's sweating harder than both these fighters combined. He's soaked in sweat and earned his little fee that they're giving him here today. Richard's done a very good job at this fight. Larry Donald may be three minutes away from capturing the WBC Continental's America's heavyweight title as the champion Jeremy Williams on the unofficial cards behind on our cards. Unlike that, of course, are the three judges. They'll be just doing the scoring at the end of the fight. But as we've told you, it looks like Williams definitely has to get the KO in the, in the 12th. The win this one is Larry Donner. Well, since an up and down, probably first two or three rounds, is really taking control of this fight. Right, and there, you know, Jeremy looked to, to load up with a big left hook, and he got stopped right in midstream with the, with the straight left jab. Oh, oh another right hand. hand. Williams is in trouble again. He's looking to his corner. Nobody can help you there. You're inside the ropes now, and Donald knows that he's got Williams in a little more trouble again. Another right hand. Williams coming in. 
Watch your head. Watch your head. Yeah, Larry Donald, he's in control here right now, and uh, you know he's doing a heck of a job of boxing and emulating a young Muhammad Ali is break, the break. only watch thing he can keep in mind. I, I mean, I, to see him, you know, doing this job in here today, uh, you know, you got to give Robert Middleman, his manager, a lot of credit because uh, you know a lot of people thought Robert was crazy when he took break. this fight, but uh, let him up, let him he's a boxing guy from way back, and even though Oscar De La Hoya decided to disassociate himself from him, I bet Larry Donald's glad he didn't. Larry Donald, you can see the confident up on his toes. There's a little bit of that Ollie shuffle, if you will. And he's kind of earned the respect that he's getting right now from Jeremy Williams. And closing that gap with the right hand off target there. This is the final minute 20 of the fight. And Jeremy Williams doing nothing to try to secure it back after a big deficit that he has dug a hole for himself in. A lot of money change hands out here in Vegas today. Donald is a three to one underdog in this fight. And as we pointed out, nobody would really give us a bet on when it might end. Many thought it would go 12, and here we are in the 12th and final round. And Donald still on the outside. There's the Ali shuffle, and the crowd kind of loves it. And he's earned it here. Listen to him behind him. There he is again. Oh, he looks sharp as he did in the third and fourth rounds here, Bob. Sharp as a Gillette blue blade here wow. today. Larry Donald, he's made himself some friends here on ABC. He's also made a little money, folks, as he wins the title this afternoon, and it's on the bigger and better things for this young man from Cincinnati, Ohio. He may be called a legend now, but he'll have a little case to make to be the Cincinnati lip again after this one. And now he says, come on in here. He might have some other people calling him the legend. Thus far, it's just been him calling himself the legend. He's backed it up here, and you can hear the crowd. They want Williams to come in. Of course, he comes in and takes damage. And you're getting thrown back with the left hand. And again, in the closing seconds, and Larry Donald has come all the way for the title today in Las Vegas. And listen to the crowd with their appreciation of this one this afternoon. Again, Larry Donald not through as he goes over. It looked like he was going to have a couple of bad words to get, but it was kind of like nice. Once again, the two fighters again will end out 12 rounds, and then go 12. Jeremy Williams again, the favorite to come out of Larry Donald. And he's backing across the way of that of Bob Arum. And of course, they have really put uh, their support behind him. And he's really come on strong here today in this fight for this uh, WBC, Continental's America's heavyweight title. Now still, look at the focus on him. Now, look at that, he's almost going into the Ali motif across the way. <laughs> well, they said he, he couldn't talk. He was just giving them one word answers before the fight, but he's going to have a few more longer phrases also, after. He also told uh, Jenks Morton, please take that mouthpiece out. I can't be heard well enough. Let's take a look at him at the end of the fight here. Boom. And again, he's, he's going to move those legs for us a little bit here. There he comes in, throws the big punches again, backing Williams up. And he has certainly earned all the respect he's going to get after this fight. And more than that, he'll be uh, clamped on a brand new belt as well. Michael Buffer is standing by. He'll have the numbers on this one for the official decision. Do we have a new champion or has J Jeremy Williams done something uh, special to try to hang on to it? Our guest is we've got a brand new man to wear the old belt as Donald ce celebrates across the way and you see his camp still looking on a little bit concerned but now saying yep that was it we did it and you got a field now moving to a potential 13 and 0 record for Larry Donald Jeremy Williams possibly dropping to 15 and 1 as Bob has pointed out the winner goes possibly into the top 10 the other stays hovering right in the top 20 and still will be very much of a person to be contended with before the heavyweight chase is all over Boy, is that a mishmash of people behind all of the three champions right now? Yeah, the three or the four or however <laughs> how many we got. <laughs> Jeremy Williams came in very confident, knew what he had to do. And he charged out at, uh, remember the charge at the start of the first round? Thought maybe he'd take Larry Donald by surprise, throw a couple of quick punches at him, but and that didn't work here tonight. Well, hey, listen, it's a tough uh, day for a young man here, but his dad's over there. Everything's going to be all right. Jeremy Williams, they haven't seen the last of him. I can promise you that. But uh, obviously a huge celebration in the corner of Larry Donald. Uh, 
crowd a little anxious to get this announcement made. They are holding for a moment for the folks from ABC Television that will be joining. Bring it out to Michael Bumper upstairs, and Donald, you know, is a little anxious to get this said and done. As well, he gets the glove cut off. It's all over now, but the cry, and I don't, I don't think there's any doubt in uh, who won this fight. And the odds on favorite, Jeremy Williams, to retain his title, second title defense. And we go to the scorecards. Carol Castellano scored the bout 114 to 114. She has an even. Chuck Jampa scores the bout 117 to 111. And Jerry Roth scores it 116 to 112 for the winner by majority decision. And new WBC Continental American Heavyweight Captain Larry the Legend Dunno. The celebration with Larry Donald again, a 114 all on one car, but then getting a six point victory, 17 to 11 and 16 12 on the other. And he is indeed the WBC Continental America's heavyweight champion of the world. Again, Larry Donald out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and quite a win for him today in Las Vegas. So Bob Spagnola again, uh, one man taking a step up as Larry Donald now goes to a 13 and 0 record. Jeremy Williams back to a 15 and 1. And Larry Donald showed us just about all that we wanted to see as far as using that speed and using it well, almost like a lightning bolt when he struck. Yeah, he really was straight, punches straight and to the point, and that was the difference in the fight. Well, he used his weapon. He used some big punches, you may recall, in the second round. Williams got into trouble. Again, in the eighth round, he was wobbly, maintained his poise, was able to go on and continue the fight taking it all the way to the 12th and final round but finally gives up his title after making one title defense and now there's certainly bigger and better things looming for Larry Donald on the fight card and when you take a look at the people that are there and certainly we could probably list maybe 10 12 names that would be there uh, on the outside waiting for a world title shot certainly one of these guys within 1994 and certainly by early 1995 could also be getting their opportunity to fight for a title I'm sure there, you know, Donald thrusts himself right onto the scene, and the fact that he's an Olympian, uh, you know, and he's got all that uh, publicity behind him, and the uh, from as a result of the Olympics, uh, you know, he becomes a very noteworthy challenger for a, a guy like Evander Holyfield if he decides he'd want one more one more shot in there before uh, he thinks about retiring. Who's who could be better than uh, the young Olympian, unbeaten Olympian that's now established himself as a as a world contender? Well, on this heavyweight explosion, also Alex Zolkin, the uh, fine Russian fighter who now fights out of Columbus, Ohio, also came up with a unanimous decision win over Frankie Swindell, as he too has kind of vaulted himself into potential of fighting some bigger and better fights as well. For the yeah, he really has. Uh, they, they've made the transition from uh, amateur to professional with him, uh, which is a hard transition to make. Well, it's been a big.